This is Misa Grand Duchess Rasmus Stonian. This is Misa Grand Duchess Rasmus Stonian, also known as Ryan Tomlinson. On October the 2nd, 2013, at 7.06 p.m., calling from Liberty Studios. One short, sweet commentary to speak. And that's it, darling. Well, we know what we're living in. Shut down, shut down, further shut down, and so forth. But look at our lives, darling. What's shut down in our lives? Are our freedoms also shut down? Our liberties, are they shut down? Our strength to readapt and to survive and to want acceptance of ourselves, acceptance of our ideas and an acknowledgement of our status. Is that also shut down? What is shut down in our society? And why the so few has the little power to shut so much down? What is the concern for those who are shut out? Are we really concerned? Are you happy it's not you? Are you happy of just escaping? that essential person. Are you happy at sitting home? What is the source, what is your content, your source of contentment during this time of shutdown? And I say, darling, money could ne never let us be bankrupt. Ideas, are bankrupt, philosophies are bankrupt, and people corrupt and mentally bankrupt. Money can never be bankrupt. Our sense of ingenuity, enlightenment, our sense to have a drive to want to produce and succeed and to grow, no matter how much you spend. Yes, we may be in holes and deficits and so forth, but comes a time, ideas blossom, ideas become, ideas prosper and flourish more than ever before. So I don't believe in shutdowns and withholding of money and so forth. I believe in sensible spending. I believe in investigating good, proper ideas. I believe in those things. But darling, never shut someone out from living, from making a living, from loving, or from having the simple little things that Maslow came up with. Never mind God, some of us don't believe in him. But he was the first to grant it, so the books tell us. And if people don't believe in that, well Maslow, hierarchy of needs, tells us that. My next topic today you know my feelings. I'm not going to tell you my utmost feelings on the shutdown. I've already said it. We can't reduce this. Too bad. Um, have some fun in the shutdown also. Live your life. Find something else to fulfill your need. Do not be governed by the shutdown. Uh, number two. I look at the United Nations. I'm, I was so happy to I, I feel a sense of vibrancy coming from the United Nations again. Okay. A sense of independence, of um, a, a sense of objectiveness, independence of objectivity, which has never existed before in the last 10 to 15 years. And I think maybe it's time to change leadership also. Who knows? But let's see where they're going. Still, darling. I do not have any contention. They need to stop living in the fear of this and the fear of that. Israelis need to embrace themselves and realize they can't live in fear of Palestinian Muslims and so forth. They haven't learned the efficacy of self-love and acceptance of their own self and acceptance of their own self in that community. They're living on the edge in fear. I congratulate Rahuni. He seems to be saying the right things and doing the right things. No one has tested him yet. If he's saying the right things, well, let's see what
or if the right things can come into action. Can we perpetuate his words into action? I should very much like to see it because this is a new Iran, a new Western, a new Eastern, maybe Eastern, Eastern front, you know, uh, blossoming, embracing an, an idea, embracing an idea that we used to practice because no longer are we practicing it. We are living in a uh, strength of war and we're bankrupt everywhere else. We are shut down everywhere else. When I said we need to change leadership and so forth, it's this mentality that we need to change. It's this mentality that we have not embraced. But the other countries have seen it. They have embraced it. They realize what foolishness it is to be constant on the to be constantly on the defense. Syria brought us the greatest realization of all time who the real criminals are and whatever may be hidden and not publicized let's make no mistake about it there's a certain amount of uh, strength of confidence in the Russians in the Iranians and are the people that defend defended the stance of uh, Bashir Assad and his family there's now a low tolerance for some things, as well as there should be. But it's now time for us as Americans to step back to where we used to be. Because we can't live in strength of fear and persecuting um, those weaker than us. We must embrace the strength of our ideas again, the philosophy and the mentality of prosperity in order to move, up, to move ahead as a nation again. I see uh, my, my third topic is, you know, uh, third topic, I'm gonna uh, talk about this gay rights and Russia. I have one thing to say to Putin and all those other people who are considered for a Nobel Peace Prize at this time um, of the year. You're considered for it for one particular reason. Look at the the advocacy the advocacy for um love instead of saying um gay rights embrace homosexuality embrace the diversity of your people accept it give them the rule of fairness justice and the law and if you do that your strength and your power in the world will be greater because no longer no one can weaken your society with gay rights and so forth. I am a strong advocate for gay rights. But if you are looking forward, Putin and the rest, to move forward in this society, to be leaders, to be peacekeepers, let's embrace all manner of people and the diversity of your population. And therefore, your power in the world and your position will not be weakened. We have suffered in America because of that. And that's because of the strength. The strength of fear. The strength of war and our fear of what we don't know. Fear of other cultures and fear of other society. As dependent in every other country in the war. So Putin, I advise you embrace it now and your allies and then NATO has nothing against you remember Ukraine and Georgia was annexed from you by the West turn society to, to, to weaken the magnitude of Russia it happened in the past with George VI and Nicholas II resulted in the massacre Putin don't let it happen again. It's Russia's time to stand up, to stand up as a nation. I will continue this on another day. Um, I can't say anything, but um, anything else right now, I'm running out of time. But the world is on a continuum and I am embracing peace. And if peace is coming from somewhere else, 
I am going to embrace those nations that embrace peace. Have a good evening. This is Lisa Grand Duchess Rasmus Kirtan.